A dorsal approach is used over the center of the radius. Lister's tubercle is removed and the joint capsule can be reflected off the dorsal lip for joint exposure and fracture reduction if desired. Next, position the appropriately sized plate to capture the distal subchondral bone and insert a non-locking 3.5 mm screw into the oblong slot for provisional fixation using the drill, drill sleeve, and depth gauge. Once placement is satisfactory, drill and place the distal 2.4 mm locking screws using either of the locking drill guide, short drill sleeves, or variable angle locking drill guide. Next, secure the plate proximally by placing the remaining 3.5 mm locking screws using the locking drill guide. Once final plate positioning and screw placement is satisfactory, the joint capsule can be reattached to the distal suture holes in the plate and soft tissue closure completed.